Hello everyone, it is Schmidt Dude here and we are back with another video today. Now today's video we're going to be talking about food. And we're going to be talking about how food affects your character in Valheim and how it works with the whole health regeneration, um, regaining health and stamina and so on. So let's just turn on our hub here and as you can see in the top here I've got seven different types of food that you can generally find nearing sort of the beginning of the game. Now, as you progress further into the game, you'll be able to create food and create potions and create things like mead, for example, which will do some more effects. But right now, we're just going to focus on the things that you can just find around the area that you might have spawned in or sort of in your general biomes nearby. So of the eight food, we've got cooked meat, cooked necktails, yellow mushroom, honey, blueberries, mushrooms, and then raspberries. And in that order, they go from healing the most to the least. Now, it depends though. It's not a straight number that they just heal for your health. Now, on the bottom left, you will see three different sections for what you want to focus on with regards to eating, your hunger, and your health, and so on. On the left, we have the three slots. And these three slots represent the three types of food that you can eat at any one given time. You cannot eat the same food more than once unless the effect has already passed. So for example, I could eat a raspberry and then immediately eat a second one and try and stack the effects that way. You'd have to eat a different type of food. So what you would do here is you would try to eat three different types of food to try to stack the effects on top of each other. That's why there's the three slots there. Now the second gray bar is your hunger bar. Now if it's gray, that is just the baseline hunger health regeneration that you have there. That does not go below that bar. You can think of that bar as the um, bare minimum that you will always have when you spawn. Now next to it is your health, pretty straightforward. But you'll notice there's a space above where your health and your hunger is, and that's because as you eat food, you'll be able to maximize your health a little bit more, increase that maximum total by eating food. But when you spawn, or when you die or respawn, you start off with a standard 25 health and the standard amount of hunger. So let's look at cooked meat for our first item. Now with cooked meat, you primarily want to focus on the last four sections. Health, 40. Now what that health 40 means is that you don't instantly get 40 health on top of the 25 that you are, your baseline health is. What it means is you can regenerate a potential of 40 more health on top of your 25. So what happens is when you eat this cooked meat, you will still have to spend time regenerating health, but what will happen is it can go past the 25 now for 40 more hit points. Stamina is instant. So with the stamina, you instantly increase your stamina bar, allowing you to run longer, hit for more, and so on. You can get stamina. Now duration, you can see there, very simple. It's for 1,200 seconds. That is 20 minutes. So the cooked meat actually lasts for quite a long time. And finally, healing. What the healing is, it's talking about how much HP you get per tick. Now, what does a tick mean? Your, he your health will go up. Every, every 10 seconds, there'll be a tick. And so what this is saying is every 10 seconds, you will heal 2 HP. So it's basically a heal per uh, 2 HP per 10 seconds is kind of how you can think about it. Now, that'll keep going until you have maxed out your hit points, which at this point would be 25 plus the extra 40 I get. So you would keep going until a maximum of 65 hit points. But you'll notice the duration is much longer than that. So if your health does go down, let's say you're in combat, whatever, you'll, con you'll keep regenerating for that 20 minutes until the cooked meat effect has disappeared. Now, the next thing we have is grilled necktails. You can kill these by killing the little green necks, which are located usually around water, and they give you a boost of 35 to your health, 20 to your stamina. They last for a thousand seconds, so about just over a minute and a half, and they also have two HP per tick. So they don't give you as much health as the cooked meat, which give you 40, and the stamina is only 20 compared to the cooked meat's 30. However, it's still pretty substantial as it gives you two health points per tick or two hit points per tick, and that's pretty decent compared to the all the other standard foods that you get. The next thing up is yellow mushrooms. Now, yellow mushrooms you can find in burial chambers, which are where the generally the skeletons are located. You can think of them as dungeons, and you find them all around the Black Forest. Now, these yellow mushrooms give you an extra 20 health. Your stamina goes up by 20, and this time the duration only lasts for 10 minutes as opposed to the 20 minutes that the grilled necks tails, or sorry, the cooked meat and the minute and a half grilled neck tails give. So not too bad though, still get 10 minutes worth, but this time you only get one hit point for every 10 seconds for every tick. Now we'll skip over honey because we'll talk about why honey is special in a moment. But blueberries, blueberries now give you 15 health and uh, they give you 20 stamina. Same thing, 10 minutes and one hit point 
per tick. Now, blueberries, you find them in the black forest. You can't find them in the meadows. You'd have to go into the black forest to find them. Now, mushrooms you can find all over the meadows, generally in the forest areas of the meadows. But you'll notice they give you 15 health, 20 stamina, again, 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds duration, and also one hit point per tick. And one of the most common foods that you'll find is the raspberries. They give you 10 health, 20 stamina, also 10 minutes, and one hit point per tick. So as you can see, different of these food types give different, either different health buffs or uh, maximum potential health, as well as different durations and different uh, hit points per tick. Now, the reason I've left honey to last is because honey is a little bit different. So to get honey, you have to go around the map looking for these old ruined buildings, and often you'll find some of these beehives that are attached to the actual building. Now, when you walk towards it, you'll notice that the bees will attack you, or if you actually hit it. There you go, they start attacking me. And that little green sort of poison you see is the bees, I guess, attacking you. Maybe they got some poison, I don't really know. But what you do is you can't break it initially. So what you have to do is actually break down these pieces here and break down the entire structure. And then eventually what will happen is a queen bee will drop out. So we take all the pieces down. Eventually the rest of the structure will fall. And then you'll notice as the rest of the structure basically gets destroyed, what will be left over is all to see all the wood and then a queen bee. Let's see, where is it? Can you see the queen bee? Ah, honey. And then queen bee. So once you've got the queen bee, what you can do then is as long as you have a workbench nearby, you can actually create beehives in the crafting menu. And then you can pretty much put them anywhere as long as they're not covered. Sometimes when you look at when you go to check the beehive, it'll say um, it's not open space that they need. But in this case, it should say, there you go, the bees are happy. And give it some time, come back. And then when you come back, you know, right now it's empty. But if we waited a little bit and we came back, you will be able to collect honey off the bees. And that's pretty much how you get honey. So now let's talk about honey. Honey's a little bit different, and honey's different because primarily of its duration and its healing. Now, its health and stamina gives you 20 for both, but for its duration, it, instead of 10 minutes, like the other ones, which are 600 seconds, the other standard food, it's only for 5 minutes, so it's half the time. However, it does give you 5 hit points per tick. So every 10 seconds, you're going to be getting 5 hit points. That was, that's what makes honey so special, is that if you need hit points fast, let's say you're planning to go into combat, or you're expecting to take a lot of damage, Honey would be the way to go because you'd get a lot more health at a much quicker rate, however, in a shorter amount of time. So if we calculated this and did a little math, you will notice that if we took the two hit points per tick at 1,200 seconds that the cooked meat can give you, you could get a potential of 240 hit points in total. Assuming that two hit points is every 10 seconds and you have a total of 20 minutes, if you divide that, you would get 240 total hit points. Now, you might not actually get to that because obviously at some point your health will cap out and this really depends on you constantly taking damage, but it gives you a good sense of how much hit, uh, health regeneration is available to you for eating a cooked meat. Now, for cooked necktails, it is 200 total potential hit points. For yellow mushrooms, it's only 60. For honey, it's 150. And then for the blueberries, the mushrooms, and the raspberries, it is all 60 potential health that you can regain. So let's do an example here. Let's say I ate my cooked meat. You will see on my health bar now, you will notice the brown part has add, added now in addition to the gray part. This brown part represents the cooked meat because you can generally think of it as a browner color. And depending on what food you eat, you'll see different color bars here. So now I've got an extra brown bar. This is the basically the length, if you imagine, of how long that um, cooked meat is active for. And as the time winds down and it's being uh, used up, you'll see this bar continue to drop. Now, as you can see here, every 10 seconds, I'm going to be increasing two hit points every 10 seconds. There you go. There's one. Now, if I were to stack that, I could eat a yellow mushroom, for example. And if I stack that on, now you see there's a yellow bar and that represents the yellow mushrooms duration. So you can see I stack a yellow mushroom as well as a cooked meat. So what I'm getting now is I'm not only getting the two hit points per tick for the cooked meat, I'm also getting the one hit point per tick for the yellow mushroom. So that means every tick or every 10 seconds, I'm now getting three hit points per heal uh, per tick. As you can see, it went from 39 to 42. Now what I can do there is stack that one more time and actually eat some honey. You see this little bit of a golder color is honey. So now I've got three different slots filled up. However, the honey gives me five. The mushroom gives me one and the meat gives me two health per tick so what i'm getting is now i'm getting eight hit points per 10 seconds you can see that's going up 
So by stacking this, you're getting way more much faster. So if you wanted to maximize your hit point regeneration, what you could do is eat a cooked meat, a cooked necktail, and honey. As the cooked meat and the cooked necktail both give you two hit points per tick, which is every 10 seconds, the honey gives you five. So a total, you could have nine hit points regenerating every 10 seconds. As you can see, my health went up from the original 25 all the way up to 87 now, but you can see it's decreasing. And it's decreasing because the duration of the food is also decreasing. So as you're basically, I guess, digesting the food, if you will, the benefit that it gives you will continue to go down. So you don't remain at that maximum health the entire time. You'd have to keep eating to keep that maximum health up. But as you can see here, it went up to 85 with a potential, actually, if I had the cooked meat at maximum, which is 40, yellow mushroom gives me another 20 and the honey gives me another 20. That's a potential of another 80 on top of the 25 I had. So my maximum potential hit points, if I ate all these three items at the same time or one after the other, would be 105 hit points. So this is how you increase your health by eating food. Hope that makes sense, guys. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them a comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions. This is just, again, food that you can just find when you first start out in the meadows or the black forest nearby. There are other types of food and there are other consumables, especially like meat and potions. But those are for more advanced um, stages in the game. So we're just going to focus on the basics. All right. Hope that's helpful. And we're, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out, guys. I'm really happy making these guides and it's I'm really enjoying it. So I'm definitely going to be putting more out. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.